Now in this section, uh, we'll, we'll see uh, concepts related to shortage job scheduling algorithm. Okay, or shortage of first scheduling algorithm. Okay, now again, shortage of first scheduling algorithm means the process which is having less burst time will be selected first. Okay, now again, we'll take some processes for example and we'll take there burst time okay uh, now consider uh, we are having p2 p4 processes okay burst time of p1 is uh, 6 milliseconds suppose burst time of p2 is 8 millisecond then 7 millisecond and then 3 millisecond okay Now consider, suppose all these process, processes arrived at the same time, means suppose for example at the zero instant, okay, all these processes arrived into ready queue, okay. Now all these processes are in ready queue, okay. Now the shortage of first scheduling algorithm must have to select process or job which is having less burst time, okay. Now, if we see burst time of each process, then P4 process is having less burst time. Now, again, we have to prepare gun chart for this. Okay. So, in the gun chart, I'm starting suppose with the zero. Then, I must have to execute P4 process first, which is having burst time 3 milliseconds. Okay. Now, if we check burst time of remaining processes, that is P1, P2, P3, then burst time of P1 process is less as compared to P2 and P3. So, we are going to take P1 process for execution, which is having 6 millisecond burst time. Now, 3 plus 6 is nothing but 9. Okay. So, in the gun chart, if we see I am writing process, then there burst time or arrival time. Okay, then next is if we compare this P2 and P3 process, then P3 process is having less burst time which is 7. So, I am taking P3 process for execution. So, 9 plus 7, 16. Okay, and then last P2 process which is having burst time 8 millisecond. So, 16 plus 8 is nothing but 24. Okay, now again if we want to calculate average waiting time we must have to calculate waiting time for each process now what is waiting time for p1 process if we see it is nothing but 3 millisecond what is waiting time of p2 process it is nothing but 16 millisecond what is waiting time for p3 process it is nothing but 9 millisecond and what is waiting time for p4 process it is 0 millisecond because we took it first for execution. So, during calculation of average waiting time, we have to add all these waiting times divided by, we are having total number of 4 processes divided by 4 is equal to 7 millisecond. Okay. So, in shortage of first, basically, we select process which is having less burst time that's it okay now the approach uh, which i use in this shortage of scheduling algorithm is non preemptive means once a particular process submitted to the cpu for execution i have not interrupted that particular process during execution i completely executed that particular process and then only i took another processes for execution okay now this is nothing but non-preemptive approach 